Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardio Security. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have another Slam Sanctuary Customs episode. Today's episode will be about the Mercedes-Benz C124 Coupe project. So what are we discussing today? Today we'll be talking about paint and some of the issues that the Merc has bodywork related issues. Um, now, the previous episode, we covered wheels. And as you can see, the beautiful AMG two-piece wheels are gone. They are with Ellie of Voodoo Motorsport and he's converting those two-piece AMG wheels into three-piece wheels using custom lips and barrels. So temporary wheels on the car for now. Now let's start with the paint. Look, it's a 27-year-old it's a car and I'm sure that most panels or some of the panels have had some paint at some course throughout its life. But there are two or three panels which are pretty bad and there's been a, a pretty poor shoddy attempt at a repair. Now we're not going to do a bare metal restoration on this car. This is not what this project is about but ultimately it's going to have our stamp on it. So we don't want to dress something up. We want to make sure that the car looks good not only in the videos but also when we do come to sell it at some point. As you all know, and if you don't, listen carefully, when this project is done, so obviously wheels, paint, air, audio, security, I've probably forgotten one or two things as well, this car will go up for sale. And what we don't want is you, the viewing audience, whoever comes to buy the car and say, look, that doesn't look right, come on guys. Well, we're doing our best to ensure that we cover most bases on this car. So let's start with some of the problems that this C124 has. Let's start with the passenger side wing. Now, hopefully this comes across well on the camera. This wing has had a very poor repair. Somebody's also tried to machine polish uh, the repairer and they've done a poor job. There are two lines in the paint. You may be able to see them. So I think that's where the previous repair has been done and then somebody used a DA or a polisher to buff it out and they've gone a little bit too far and actually taken a layer of the paint away. So that is pretty poor. This whole wing will have to be repainted and ultimately probably blown into the bonnet as well, otherwise there may be a color difference. So this wing for sure needs to be painted. Now while I'm talking about wings, the arches. All the arches will be rolled. To allow the new wheels that Voodoo Motorsport are building for us, we will need to just roll the inside of the arches just to give us that additional clearance. So all four arches will be rolled. I think there's a small rust blemish here. You can see where the rust is bubbling through. Obviously, if we're repainting the wing, we'll get rid of that rust there. Let's have a look at the back now. Okay, the doors, that's both doors, the roof and the bonnet are pretty good. So they don't need to be touched. This wing's pretty good as well. Um, no rust here. Again, the arches will be rolled. Just around the electric aerial, hopefully you can see that there's some rust bubbling through. And in fact, that electric aerial, although it does work, the actual housing and the fitment has broken, so we'll replace the aerial at the same time. It's probably gonna need a little bit of a blow over into maybe the, uh, the boot lid and some portion of the wing. Now, while we're here, simple, quick fix, this trim panel, it's damaged. That is fairly simple. We'll just get a replacement trim panel. In fact, if anyone has a second-hand trim panel and uh, you want to get rid of it, give us a shout, drop us a message. Um, also, while we're here, the exhaust. We're still not sure what should we do with the exhaust. Period correct, but is it correct now in 2021? Let us know, guys. Should we just keep it? I don't know, let us know. Right, let's look at the other side. All right, let's look at the driver's side rear wing first. Now, this wing here, I think there's only one word that I can use to describe this, crusty, because it looks crusty. Somebody previously has hit this rear wing somewhere, probably when they're parking or whatever. So you've got a massive dent there and you've got a scrape and you've got a load of rust, which is just coming through in the rear quarter panel here. So this will all have to get rectified and again blown in. Arches will be rolled again. The door's fine, the rest of the quarter panel is good. The door's fine, 
Now the front driver side wing, again, crusty. That's the only word I can use. Crust and double crust here. In fact, this whole side, front and rear is crusty. The other side, pretty good in comparison. So we've got rust seeping through on the corners of the, um, the arches here. The arches will be rolled again. Um, so it looks like this wing will have to get completely repainted and blown into the bonnet or the bonnet blown into the wing. Whatever way, look, I'm not a painter, so I'll leave that to the professionals. So four panels really, and the rear section of the bumper need to be done. So who's doing all of this work? The car is going over to Dips at Custom Cars. He's worked on a few of our cars previously. Excellent painter, fairly quick turnaround and very competitively priced. We are now going to head over to Dips at Customs Cars, have a chat with him there, go through all the, the panels and leave the car with him. We will go back hopefully every third or fifth day and see the progress and just sort of document the progress whilst the car's with him and show you some of the sections that he's covered. So you know what, let's go, let's get to Ivor. Guys, we are at Custom Cars to see Dips. The Merc is here. Hey Dips. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Uh, we'll go over the car, show him all those bad points and those crusty points that I uh, noted earlier on. And uh, we'll leave it in his safe hands. I've got Palm here with me as well and he'll discuss with Dips how much of the, arches, how much of the arches need rolling because they have to be done a certain amount to get the new wheels to fit. So um, I'll wait for Palm, he's just parking his car and then uh, we'll go around the Merc.
coat, it's all face coat, and about two and a half to three coats of lacquer. So that, then we can cut it back, flat polish it, and she's literally done. So, was it a nice and easy job? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the longer thing was masking it, and just that. Yeah. Stripping was easy. Print was, yeah, there was a lot, because the arches weren't supposed to be straightened, but we've had to straighten them. Oh, okay. So originally it was just dealing with any defects. Yeah. But yeah, should have scooped. Thank you very much, Nick. So we'll probably see this when it's finished. Tuesday, Wednesday, hopefully. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Guys, the Mercedes is done. The repaint has been finished by Dips at Custom Cars. We are now here to collect the car. They can give us a quick walk around, a bit of an overview of what he's done. So I think it's time to uh, see the car and let's see how uh, good his work is because I know it's pretty good, but at least you guys can see how good his work is. Hello. Hey, Dips. How you doing? Guys, Dips, custom cars. So we are done. All done for you. Got to say, it um, does look very, very, very sparkly. Right, we'll do a quick walk around, yep. show the viewers exactly what you've done and uh, ensure that you've done it to the best of your ability because I know best. your abilities are like... So basically, literally all four corners had rust. Uh, nothing major, but just wear and tear. We've, we've fixed all the rust, straightened the lips. So when Raj does his air ride yeah, air lift. and the rims, everything sits perfect. Yeah, the concern was when we put our bigger wheels with the, the bigger dishes on, we want to be able to tuck the wheel and the tire. So the way the lips sit, I think they sort of sit push in with them. They're sat with a 45 degree kind of inside angle. Okay, so they're raking. So, so now they're literally 90 degree angle. You So they're straight here? So they're straight. Okay, so that allows it to do the tuck. Did you have to roll the? Yeah, the, if you feel it inside, they're all rolled flat. Oh yes, you can, you can. So fresh paint, as we can see. So the whole wing on this side? Two sides have been done. Okay, so both front so wings have been wings, done. Two wings, two doors. Quarter we had to do, obviously, for the arch and the rusty aerial, um, a bit of rust we had yeah, around, around the aerial. Yeah, around the aerial. So if you recall back, there was some rust around the aerial, so the grommet's been removed. Um, we've got a new grommet at Cass HQ. We'll replace the grommet and probably fit a new aerial if the aerial's not working. There wasn't any rust here, was there? It was on the other side. No, the, there was a rust. Oh, I'm sorry. There was a rust on the okay, other side. Okay, so this I nearly tripped up over. This is the the rear trim section. This is um, damaged. Um, we've got a new trim on order. There's no point putting the old one back on because otherwise to get it off, we've got to remove the bumper. So we've got a new trim on order. And this side was done because of the arch and it, there was a dent just above the light. Okay, I didn't notice that. Which you didn't notice. So we had to do the arch again for the wheel fitment. Okay, again rolled as well? All straightened, yeah. Okay. It's, it's all sealed at the back. Yeah, I can feel that actually. It's a little bit sticky. Yeah, I can feel that a little bit sticky. Um, then we noticed the dent just above the light. Okay. Had to fix that because there's no point. What a great guy he is. And I'm assuming you're not charging me for that. <laughs> That's within the price. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> the door didn't need anything, but it just made more sense because okay. the, the wing got painted quarter. So you've done the side. door as well? Okay. It's not much of a big door anyway. So. Yeah, sure. And again, there were, we had pretty bad uh, rust on this side as well. You've, you've managed to address yeah, that. I mean, the, the rust was only surface rust. It okay. wasn't nothing major. The, the, cars, was there, wasn't it? Yeah. the car's been pre-painted a long time ago, maybe. But yeah, she's a very sorry car otherwise. Okay, well, quick turnaround as well. Thank you very much for that, Dips, because I know how busy you are. Yeah. Um, those of you that haven't used Dips, um, his details will be below. Those of you that have used Dips will know how busy he is and how good he is. So um, appreciate you no getting our car in. As always guys, any questions you may have, just uh, drop them down below. Um, as I've already mentioned, Dips' details from Customs Cars will be at the end of this episode. Uh, I'm more than happy with uh, the paintwork. It's really, really good. It's up to our standards. Um, so, any comments, drop them below. Most importantly, like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again soon 
for another episode of Slam Sanctuary Customs.